A high-profile triple homicide investigation in Oakland has fallen apart. A man that Oakland police say was responsible for two of those killings has been released from jail. Our crime reporter Henry Lee here now to tell us how this all happened. Henry. Yeah, Christina, after I first reported that this man was arrested and charged with murder, there was outrage on my Twitter page with people saying police had the wrong guy. Now, according to the Alameda County DA, it turns out they were right. He was, uh, he was wrongfully charged as a consequence of some very uh, sloppy police work. Attorney William Welch says his client, Jonathan Ziegler, was arrested and charged with two counts of murder in connection with a chaotic triple homicide in West Oakland. But on Thursday, the Alameda County DA's office dropped the charges, and Ziegler is now a free man. His attorney says that means the real killer is also free. The person that was involved in this, in this incident is still at large, as far as I know. The incident happened near 29th and MLK in West Oakland back in August. Police say a man named Tyrone Banks shot and killed David Woolfolk and then got back into his Chevy Malibu. Investigators say a man linked to this 1977 Chevy Caprice then shot and killed Banks. Police say Banks, as he was dying, ran over and killed bicyclist Tunnell Williams with his car. It turns out Ziegler owns this Caprice, and he was charged with murdering both Banks and Williams. But his attorney says his client wasn't driving the car at the time. And he says surveillance video shows a much taller, heavier person shooting Banks. The attorney also says a review of Ziegler's cell phone records by a former Alameda County Sheriff's detective showed that he and his device were in East Oakland at the time of the incident. And exculpated him 100%. He remained in custody for nearly a month after that, despite having all of that information. Welch and says so, the case is a powerful uh, reminder of how a case must be airtight and why defense attorneys step up for their clients. When we bring the powers of the government to bear on an individual and accuse them of a serious crime, then they need to be pretty convinced that they've got the right person. Now, that defense attorney tells me he can't speak as to whether his client knows who was driving the priest that day and who that shooter could be. The Oakland Police investigation is continuing. Live in the newsroom, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 Yeah, Henry, pretty rare to hear about something like this. Yeah, it is. I mean, in this case, Alameda County DA stepped up to the plate very quickly. You know, we've heard of cases where people who say they are innocent languish in jail for months, if not years. All right, Henry Lee in newsroom. Thank you, Henry.